Mr. Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Alright, so I have the Spider-Man Retro Wave uh, Gwen, Stacy, and Mary Jane. I'm probably going to use her for Mary Jane. Uh, because I don't have... Basically, I have Gwen, Stacy as Spider-Gwen. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, here it is in the front. Here's Gwen Stacy art right here for the billboard. And then here's the um, Spider-Man Animated Series logo. Okay. Not much on the side, not on the top. And if you want to pause the video and read this, you can. And then the logo. And then same art. And then here's the figures in the wave. Spider-Man, Electro, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, and Daredevil. And then it's showing you how to swap the head here. And then here's the DCPI. Um, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. Here's Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane out of the packaging. Um, so, first thing, she has some accessories. So she has a Mary Jane head sculpt here. Nice red hair. Um, nice de detailing throughout the hair. Red lip gloss. Nice eyes. Uh, if it focuses, I think they are blue. I think yeah they're blue yep there and that eye eyelashes or eyeliner there really good head sculpt and then some uh books binders and stuff so here's a binder they just have them holding it's just blue looks decent pretty good and then it has this book which reads midtown high school so apparently they're still in high school in this one or something. So really cool. And then I rolled up newspaper by the Daily Bugle. Pretty good. And then let's go over the figure itself. So here's Gwen Stacy head sculpt. Looks good. Nice detailing throughout the hair, wavy, blonde, and a headband there. And then bangs, blue eyes. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. And then a nice green jacket going on here. Nice and wavy going on. And then like a little belt for the jacket. Which I don't think you could do anything for that. Yeah, you can't like belt it up or anything. Uh, purple skirt, black sweater. Um, nothing really to say about that. This is skin tone. Uh, and just black boots. And yeah, heels actually. So that's good. Nice. Uh, nothing really else going on here. And then to simulate me popping, let's pop off the head here. There we go. And then switch to Mary Jane. If I can. Oh, come on. Hang on. You're going to have to give me a second here. Oh, I think I got it. So, here's MJ with this, uh, with the, whatever you want to call it, uh, the figure sculpt. Um, so, looks really good. So, let's go over the articulation. So, the head can move down that far. The hair kind of gets in the way. I'm pretty sure Gwen wouldn't have that problem. And then up, they would both have this problem anyways. They couldn't really look up that much and a little bit of head pivoting my it's a little tight still um but yeah now looking left I meant, uh yeah left a little bit right a little bit arms can move up that a little high, way higher than 90 degrees uh 360 rotation 
no bicep swivel and still single jointed elbows just gets past just a little bit 90 degrees just a little bit um wrist can hinge down that far up that far uh diaphragm joint at the top torso so you get her to pivot that far a little bit uh, look forward just a little bit and then backwards not much she has uh she can only kick to the side that much the skirt kind of restrains it kicks forward a little bit not much though backwards actually pretty good and then uh, i think thigh cut yep thigh cut and then double jointed knees which is nice uh no boot swivel surprisingly um and then I'm always afraid about the, the ankles for the female figures because they always tend to break for me for some reason. Um, so they can move up that far and then down that far. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's try to see if I can figure out how to get her to hold all this stuff actually. So probably the newspaper would be in her hand is my guess. Yeah. And then probably having her hold this stuff like this. Probably. Yeah, I actually figured that out pretty good. It just looks a little weird because the hand's a little weird looking. I mean, it's the same hand sculpt from, I think, which one am I thinking about? Which, oof, I'm trying to figure out which hand, it, I think it's, darn, I don't even remember. Um, I think it's one of the Spider-Man, one of the Spider-Man um, figures, but yeah, really cool figure. Not much to really say about it. It's really restraint on the uh, articulation side, especially with the arms and then the legs because of the skirt, diaphragm joint, just a little bit. You can't really do much. So pretty cool figure. I'll probably have her swinging with one of the Spider-Man figures um, in my display. So yeah. And the winner that, uh, Reposted this and tagged me and guessed the character correctly, which is Mary Jane slash Gwen Stacy goes to uh, Nathan Somers uh, 14 check out his Instagram and his YouTube He does really cool stop-motion films and then here are the reveals for tomorrow All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at highlight photos. He does really cool photos Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with sometimes with other games they have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.